that's what it's all about is, you know, we're about to go. It, the game's, it's a serious game, but soccer is it's fun. And so we know, you know, we're about to go have a blast out on the field. So we just pump ourselves up before the game too. All the things that we've put in place to allow them just to be shot out of a cannon, so to speak, when it comes time for the whistle to be blown. We have a sign that we that we um, hit before every game and it says no fear. We always said we go out there with no fear and so everyone slaps it on their way out and I think it's really, some people hit their hands so hard it hurts. I think it's really just a way for everyone to get like riled up and like get ready to play. I love hitting that sign because really you need to go out there and you know, don't you need to not fear anything and just give it your all and I think that's it really um, is a good thing for us before the game to have. We're all hyped up in the in the locker room and then to come outside and have you know little girls yelling and the fans you know clapping for us and stuff it it definitely carries the energy onto the field. That, and that's really just evolved just because the position of our building is so close to the field um, that all the little kids started to want to be by the door where the girls come running out. And that's like the best part is when you know you're about to go out there and all the fans are lined up you know to to um, give you high fives and everything. There's this big line of kids, you know, leading them out on the field. It's just another piece of the exciting game day experience that our team gets to have. When you have kids out, it's just more exciting. They yell more, they scream more, you know, the, the pitch may be a little bit louder, but it, it's, it's still great. I love it. I'm glad that we have that many um, little girls come out and support us and, and they know our names and they know our numbers. All the kids adopt a player, they do signs for them, they write them notes. It's so awesome, you know, we get to, we get to communicate with them, we get to um, learn about them and they learn about us. This is the best shot you'll ever get. Mm -hmm. How old are you guys? We reach out to the community, uh, we show them that we want to be a part of, of their soccer experience. Uh, you know, we do camps, we do clinics, we do different things. It's great for our team and it's, it's great for Tech Soccer. Then they get together and they say their Lord's Prayer on the field. And I think that's, again, just their time together to kind of focus in again on the family and on themselves and, and really just remember it's, you know, the fans are great. The coaching staff's hopefully done its job, but it all comes down to those girls on the field. You're so um, energetic and you're so, like, like pumped for the game. And to then um, just come back and just take a deep breath and pray, it's, I think it's really good for us. It gives us a little bit of time to chill and relax and then um, be ready for the game. I think that when we say that prayer that it's like, okay, it's almost game time and, and we're getting ready to play. And I think it, uh, I don't know, focuses everyone. Come on, baby, here we go! Come on, here we go! I like the atmosphere. I think on a Friday night, um, we get a lot of students and, you know, everyone likes playing like at seven o'clock at night. It's, it, you're under the lights. I love the lights, I love night games and it's awesome, great atmosphere. Being like fans, you know, your whole stadium packed and then also have fans around the, the field is, is a nice feeling and I definitely think it helps us. And it's, it's so cool because it's, it's like all ages, you know, you, you got the little kids and you got, you got grandparents, you got parents and, you know, um, so many of the, the other teams come and support us. We get a great turnout from our community and for the coaches and for the university, you know, the community coming out is, is huge. Students, uh, young soccer players in town, their parents, the community in general that, that has made it so much fun. Just the tech spirit and just everyone coming, just, it's just a fun atmosphere to be in and show support for our school. I mean, for, I think for the players, that's probably the most important part of it is, is their peers, is the students. My very best friend Haley plays on the soccer team number 28. She's awesome. Oh, it's so exciting. And to know that there's that many people there to watch you. It's a lot of fun. I mean, the atmosphere is very lively. You know, the, the crowd really gets into it, and so then you get into it. It's about the environment that's created at home, and if you have a great environment, it, it's worth something. When we're playing well and it's just loud, you know, it's just a rush of energy behind us, and, and you can feel it. Bigger Power Chant has, you know, it started, I guess, in football, but you hear it in the Spirit Arena, and now you're hearing it you know, at the John Walker Soccer Complex. So that's also a neat thing. You know, a lot of our traditions of our sports are around football. And to see some of them trickle into the soccer stadium, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's tough to beat. You know, the crowds have just continued to get bigger. And I mean, my goodness, they were talking about, do we need to add grandstands to, you know, what we have to, you know, I think we see 2,000 or something like that. You know, that's incredible to think. 
So it's, uh, it's been a nice haul to see the facility and the team get better and, and, the, and the community just really embraced us, and that's been really rewarding. And, you know, these girls will always have that. To play in front of that kind of crowd is really special, and you really feel appreciated for all your hard work, and they're cheering every touch. And every time somebody does something, there's applause and cheering and, and yelling. You know, it's an experience that I'm so glad our players get to have because a lot of places you go, there's two or 300 people in the stands. And I'm not saying that that's not a good experience, but it sure is a lot better when it's 1,500. Those are memories that you're, you're, they're last li a lifetime. They're uh, memories that we're going to remember always. Listen carefully, please. So many of the things that we told you in the pregame that would occur in that open space has all unfolded as we predicted. There's always something you've got to correct. But I think a big part of what we try to do is remind them of the things that we're doing well so that we'll continue that. Because of the system that they play, we always have the player ready to bring that, to, to knock it back in. Usually he, uh, you know, he has his, his list of things we do good and things we do bad. We've done a good job of showing some composure through Tiff, through you, through to, to Mallory, where it's been so clear that you can play under pressure. But there's a couple times where we had no pressure. Put it down and keep playing. If all you do is focus on what you need to fix, then sometimes the players will only worry about those things and forget why they're leading, why they've scored two goals, why they're dominating the game. That's really important not to just um, pick out the things that you're doing wrong and make you, f make you not feel good about it, but to be like, you know what, you guys can do this. It's fine. Just work on this, change it, and you'll be good. I'd rather you be tight case and ready to sprint so if the person, let's say, wins it, then you're ready to run her down and play it back to Aaron, as opposed to being back here, let him get in front of us, turn and then play it behind us. You know, we, we're trying to solve problems right away. Uh, are we playing well? What do we think the other team is going to do, uh, uh, you know, against us? I mean, you know, you, you can never expect the same opponent to come out of the locker room. And the two defensive midfielders, all right, have been just kind of sliding over, and that's about as deep as we're getting. If we are you know, behind or we're struggling or the other team is doing something really well. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, one of, one of the roles as, as an assistant coach is, okay, how do we solve this problem right away? You have to get there. There's no hesitation. Not wait to see, not worry about this inside player. You know, if we're doing something well, we want to make sure that we bang that home with the players and, and encourage them and support them about what is making them good. Tell these girls to stay, hoping that you'll just stay with them. And they're just happy to play three on four. All right? So the, what this does is this eliminates that and says, no, you're not going three on four, you're going three on five. He'll definitely give it to us. He's not, he's not um, afraid to criticize, but in a good way, in a way that you know, will motivate us to go out and do better. They had their 20 minutes, soccer took over, we had ours. Would you rather have blown a two goal lead or be the team that came back? I'd rather be the team that came back. We just try to balance it between things we need to get better at and things that we were doing well so that we can repeat it and do it again. Because now it's our game to win. Now the doubt is in their mind. It's not in ours. And then at the end, it's just very uh, energetic and, and wanting us to make sure that we can like stay focused for the rest of the half. We don't have any time for anybody to feel sorry for themselves or think about the last play. All we need is 11 people getting it on for 45 minutes. Any questions? Hey, let's go! Come on! Come on, check it. Soccer is the anticipation of the goal you know, and the excitement that leads to it, and the uh, tension until someone breaks through. Uh, I think I ran on the field before it even went in, because I could kind of see it happening, developing, and it was just like this release of, of uh, you know, energy, relief, all these emotions that are wrapped up. To not let that overtime clock run down, and to make sure that we got the win. And so, in addition to the jubilation, I think there was relief. I think people were like, whoa. A release from our players, they piled on each other. I mean, we packed house. I mean, all, all those things kind of came together in that one moment, which, which made it special. Unbelievable. Like, we always kind of joked about if we, you know, if you won in every time, we dog probably in the box. Everyone just started running at Jess when she scored that final goal, and I mean, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it right now. You know, make sure that you are soaking up this moment, because in four years, you won't get it back. You know, you'd only get 80, 100 games in your career. So every one of them has to mean something to you. And that's something, you know, um, that's going to be a great memory for the rest of my life is to just remember playing those games and um, looking out after the games and seeing all our fans. It's so special to us. And um, we love when they come and support us and stay the whole game. It's just like the icing on the cake kind of to, to a hard night and like a, a, a good victory. Both my parents went to Tech, and so it's kind of nice to look up and see them up in the stands with their, like, guns up, singing our, you know, school song. And it's just really 
kind of a special moment. And, you know, you've won for your school, and it's just kind of a good way to cap off a win. We could not even tie that game. We had to win. We're like, you know what, in a moment when we had to have it, we had it. And for an athlete, that's, that's great, because a lot of times you have to have it and you don't have it. Or maybe the other team's just better. But on that particular day, we had to have it, we got it, the fans enjoyed it, the players, you know, it was a great memory. We worked so hard and it was for that moment right there. That's what, that's what motivates us, that's what keeps us going.